Today I'm doing something that I've never done before. Something that I've always wanted to do, just never did. I'm revealing my main camera and I'm shooting this whole vlog on that camera. Ladies and gentlemen, the camera that I'm using, it is called the So today I am doing something that I haven't done before on this channel. I've used this camera but I've never vlogged with it and I want to start using this camera more because it's basically the reason why I started doing this channel. The camera that I'm using it's called the Sony FX3. It's a cinema camera. Uh, it's not necessarily a beginner's camera and I probably have no business using it but um, I treated myself. I got myself a little present and why not? This is a great camera. I've seen what it can do. I've talked to my brother Taj and, and my friend Dave about this camera, basically about cameras in general. I've done my research. I knew I wasn't gonna be taking photos as much and I was gonna primarily be doing videos. And this camera just spoke to me. It, it's something that I, um, I, I just wanted to have and it took me about six months to finally actually purchase it because of my indecisiveness. But I'm glad that I I got it. I'm glad I got it. I'm happy I got it. I've always been one that likes to capture memories and, and moments. If I'm going to get a camera, I might as well try to get the best one that I could get. It has its, uh, well, I'm a beginner, so I shouldn't even say what it lacks, but there's things that other people are upset about, like there's no shutter angle, um, which I'm, I'm highly upset about. Just kidding. I, I have no idea what shutter angle is, but the EVF, the little thing you look through, it does not have that. I don't mind that. I'm not taking pictures. I just wanted to start using this camera. It's been, it's been great. Well, there was one bad thing. This camera comes with a handle and I've seen people talk about how poorly designed the handle is pretty much made of a plastic and it's not really a well-built handle. Sadly, this happened the first day I was shooting for this channel. When the handle broke, it's attached with the audio interface. That's the part that broke off. So when that happened, I didn't have an audio source. <laughs> Trying not to let it annoy me, I um, took my pocket too and I just tried to go out there and make a video anyways. And then as you know, things just went sideways. Oh, this is turning out to be a wonderful day. First, my FX3 handle breaks. I miss the handle because it's just, it's something that came with the camera. It was designed for the camera and I feel like I should replace it. But for now, I'm just using the um, modified version of the K3M, I think it's called. I ordered a piece. I was able to save the little bits and pieces of the, the FX3 handle and convert it. So that's what I've been using. In this vlog, I'm going to use only the FX3. Just show what it can do a little bit. And, and then here's the thing. I'm learning, guys. I, I don't know how to do all this. I'm trying to figure things out. I, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And, and uh, you know, I didn't know what aperture was. I didn't know what white balance. I didn't know what the shutter speed was. Different profiles and the creative looks. Like there's a lot of things. The focal lengths, the slow motion. I still haven't figured it out. There's a lot to learn about this camera. I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. I've been using mostly the Sony ZV-1 and the Pocket 2 to do my vlogs. But this was the real reason why I started the channel. I wanted to get this camera and I wanted to learn how to use it, taking something that I have no idea about and just really from the beginning stages of it, just learning. This is not a cheap camera. <laughs> this is not a cheap camera. It's not really an intro camera. I didn't know if I should get it or not, to be quite honest, and if it was worth it. And like my brother said, you know, it depends on how much you use it. It depends how much you use it. If you're gonna use it, if you're gonna put it to use, then it's worth it. If you're not gonna use it, if it's gonna sit in your room and be in the corner collecting dust, well, it'd probably be in a bag, but if you're not gonna use it, then yeah, don't get it because it's not worth it. I obviously got the camera and I wanna start using it. This is a big one. I mean, you got lenses, you got prime lenses, you got zoom lenses. I didn't know any of this stuff, you guys. There's a lot more to learn. Like I said before, I've seen what it can do. 
I believe I can get there. It's gonna take some time like anything else. I feel you gotta put the work in, you gotta learn. And the best way to uh, learn things is just to do it. So uh, we're doing it. We're driving around a couple areas, neighborhoods. Look how pretty this is. I'm about 30 minutes away from where uh, downtown Nashville is. It's quiet out here. It's nice. I'm gonna go get something to drink, something to eat. I'm gonna get a coffee. It's a bit different vlogging with this because you gotta make sure the ISO's right, and you're not overexposed. Dang, this thing is heavy. <laughs> this thing is heavy. This is cool. I'm liking it. It's a little bit challenging to vlog with this thing, but I'll get better at it. Just making sure all my settings are correct. I don't know what it's gonna look like. <laughs> It's not a point and shoot camera. This thing you have to like plan out and get your shots right. I understand that, I know that, but the only way to get better with this camera is to put it to use. So I plan on doing that. People will probably see this and be like, why is he making the camera look so bad? I'm making the camera look so bad because I don't know what I'm doing. Eventually, in time, I will make the camera look good. That is a promise. How long will it take me? I don't know, that I can't promise. But yeah, we'll get there. We're gonna enjoy the journey. We're gonna enjoy the, the growth. We're gonna embrace the challenges. And we're gonna get there. If I went back six months ago. All right, so here we are. Here it is, the Sony FX3 with the 20 millimeter 1.8. I am at an ISO 160. The iris is set to 1.8. I don't know, are we overexposed? 160 is the lowest it can go. F-stop is at 1.8. It says plus two, so I'm probably a little bit overexposed. Yeah, you can't change it. Where am I at with the white balance? Still at 1.8, ISO's at 640. Let's turn that ISO down. Let's get it down to 160 is the lowest we can go. Probably still overexposed, but what do you do in situations like this when you're overexposed? Ah, I know. I need an ND filter, don't I, Stu? I gotta get an ND filter, so we're gonna go get an ND filter for this because that's exactly the problem. I would not know anything. I would not know what an ND filter does. I wouldn't know why I need it. I wouldn't know what a Tiffin Black Pro Mist 1 8th, I wouldn't know what that does, um, which is what I have on top of this as well as a Freewell VND filter, but I would not know, I got a text. I would not know what to do with this camera if I was overexposed, if I was underexposed. I wouldn't know how to correct that. But I do now, and I'm getting better. It will come. Stick with me. I'll take you places. We'll, we'll learn. It's going to be quite a journey. We're going to have fun. Um, that's it for now. Trash McNuggets. Worldwide.